Hi, this is James C2. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the account entity. Now, an account is any organization with which you have a relationship. So that could be a customer, a client, a partner, a supplier, any organization with which you have a relationship. So let's look at the account entity within CRM. Accounts are held under the sales, marketing or service area or if in your setup you have any custom areas, accounts can also be added to that. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate it through the sales area. So, from the sales area, I'll click on the tile for accounts and the system will show me a list of active accounts within our system. By changing the view, I can look at any accounts that have been deactivated by looking at the inactive accounts view and we can see that there is one here. If I go back to active accounts and I open one at random, let's open this one here, we can see that lots of information regarding this account is displayed on the form. On the left hand side we have the summary, so the account information, things like account name, phone number, website, the address, a bank map showing their location. And on the right hand side of the form we also see what's known as the related information. So we can see the primary contact for this account, the person who we should be dealing with most or the first point of contact. We can see their email address, their business phone number. We can also see a list of contacts relating to the account. We can see opportunities that relate to this account. Or if we scroll down, we can also see cases relating to the account and entitlements. As well as the ones that are displayed on the form, we can also see other related information through the use of the related information drop down arrow here. We're looking at the Coho Winery account. If I click on the drop down to the right of that, I can see anything that is related to it. So if there were any documents relating to this account, I could click on it there and view it. If I want to look at the opportunities in a different view, I can click on it there. We can filter it by ones that are open, one, lost, or we can look at all. We could look at any marketing lists that the account is a member of, would be shown here. But that's how the related information is viewed. It can be viewed from either the form, if it's been set up to show the related information, or if the form hasn't, you can use the drop down arrow here to find the same information. We also have the social wall in the middle of the screen. On the social wall, we have a list of posts, activities and notes that relate to this account. If I want to add a new post to the wall, I can do that here. And it appears on the wall. I can add a new activity to the record. I can view activities that have already been added. All of that information is stored on the account record, so we have one view of the account. Accounts are also available through the quick create button which is available from any part of the system. We can click that and we can quickly create an account on the fly which I'll demonstrate just now. I can select the primary contact for that account. I can enter a postcode for the account. And that has quickly created an account record for us. I can view it by clicking on the view the account button and there we go. So that is a quick overview of accounts. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If there's anything more you'd like to know, follow us on Twitter, like the video or subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. If you'd be interested in a free trial, just click the link. Thank you for watching.